This is going to be a video review and demonstration of the Della Twin Tub washing machine. And this is relatively new. It is available on Amazon. And um, I purchased this because I do not currently have a full size washer and dryer. And it's just myself and my daughter. And um, I did not like going to the laundromat, so anyway, uh, let me show you the controls here. This is the wash cycle here. This is the wash timer. You can set it up to 15 minutes. And this is the cycle type. There's uh, soft, or that's gentle, uh, the normal, and the drain, and then the spinner. That's the timer. Um, it goes up to five minutes. I've never needed to use it more than like two or three minutes. Um, and I have been using this for, uh, I'd say a couple weeks. I've had it, so I wanted to give it a good, uh, good try before I did any kind of review. Now this is the washing side. And this is what it looks like inside. Uh, that, I believe it's supposed to be like the lint trap. It does not work. Um, and there's just a tiny agitator. Now, um, if you're going to buy one of these type of washing machines, whether it's this one or any other um, one, you need to get yourself a floating lint trap um, to go ahead and collect any hair or lint that's floating in the water. Um, I have not uh, received one yet. Um, I actually have to order it. Um, they're pretty cheap. You can get them for under five dollars um, from Amazon, and they supposedly work pretty well. Now, um, because there is a low agitator, um, sometimes things can get tangled. Your delicates, like um, you know, bras and underwear, socks, and also long sleeve shirts. For some reason, the sleeves tend to get tangled. Um, now, what I did, I purchased get them here. A whole bunch of these bags. Um, they came with two shirt ones and four, or two sweater bags and four of the smaller ones. Um, and I got them for like, I don't know, around five dollars maybe. Also on Amazon. Um, so I would definitely recommend picking up some of those. Um, wh again, whether it's this machine or any other machine. Uh, now I am also going to do a demo after I show you the different parts. Now this is the spin dryer and there's the little disc that goes over the clothes um, when you spin things dry. And this is how it connects to your sink. Now I'm going to show you. It's a really small um, hose. So what you're going to want to do, and what I did, I went to Home Depot and I got the, um, just in the plumbing department, just a uh, little adapter and I got the small metal one, which is what I would advise. Uh, it was, I don't know, in between, it was under $10, uh, in between 5 and $10, I believe. All right, so, and this hose goes to here. You can also connect it over here to rinse as you're, uh, as you're spinning. Um, I have not actually done that yet, so... Uh, I may try that one of these days. Now I am going to turn on cold water. Um, they do not recommend that you use hot water for this, um, but you can see where the water comes in. It fills up pretty fast. Now I have to. I have to get my detergent open on 
holding the camera with one hand. I don't want to drop my camera in the washing machine here. It would not be good. Now you only need a very tiny amount. Um, I'm going to put this much in. Because it isn't a, you know, a full-size washing machine, it, it's pretty good size. I've done, um, well, I'm going to do a couple of towels for this load. I'm going to let it fill up. Um, I try to keep it, um, no higher than there, but I, I would imagine you can probably go higher. I have not tried. Um, it does wash around a bit. Um, so I just didn't want to bring it up much higher than that. I hope the lighting is good enough in here so that you're able to see. So as you can see, it fills up pretty fast. I'm going to grab my towels from over here. And these are old raggedy old towels. They're regular bath towels. There's two of them. And you can see the water is already up above it. So I think what I will do is see if that's enough water, just so you can get an idea. I'm going to start with the slow cycle. And I'm going to turn. I have it on soft, and I'm going to turn it on for six minutes. And this is a soft cycle. It'll go one way, and then it'll go back the other way. And I could fit like a couple more towels in there easily. Now I'm going to move it to the normal cycle. It agitates pretty good, even though I only have the, um, the really shallow um, agitator. Um, I've thought about getting something I've seen on Amazon. Um, little agitator balls that you can throw into the wash. Um, and they invest in some of those. And again, that lint trap would float on the top and it would collect any hair. Um, that's one thing that um, that's an issue with any of these kind of uh, washing machines. You have the tingling issue and the lint issue. But again, it is what it is. If you're looking for a small, compact uh, washer and spin dryer that um, that you can use without having a washer and dryer hooked up, that is lightweight. This thing uh, no more than 30 pounds. Um, it's easy to to maneuver and move around. Uh, if you have a, if you're a college student living in a dorm, or you know you have a kid that you're sending off to a college that you're having to, you know, send them money to go to the laundromat, which is a small fortune. Um, this could easily go in the dorm room, a camper, um, a small apartment. If you, you know, you aren't able to have a washer and dryer. This would be perfect. It came very, very fast. Um, I ordered it and I had it in just a few days. Um, and the the shipping was free. And I don't believe um, I don't believe I used. No, I didn't have Amazon Prime at the time, but the shipping was free even without Prime. Uh, and it came UPS very quickly. So now what I'm going to do, since you kind of got an idea of how that works, I'm going to show you how the spin works now. And 
as long as you don't have it on drain, the water's not going to go out. Now I will show you the drain. Um, the one thing that is tricky, like the, I can drain it there, but it's not super uh, sturdy. I don't know, this little clamp doesn't, it's not wide enough for my particular sink. Um, and the hose isn't long enough to get to the tub. Um, sometimes I use this big Home Depot bucket. Um, now there is a pump which uh, pulls the water out, which is fantastic. Um, the only thing, and this is again true with any of these kinds of washing machines, it's not just this one's all, um, you do uh, have a little bit of water that stays um, unless the hose is flat. So what I will do, um, because it is light, when I'm all done um, using the washing machine, I will very carefully um, keep the drain hose um, kind of like this and close the lid. And I'll pick up the machine and I will take it um, to the tub and uh, lay the hose down loose in the tub and lift the washing machine up and kind of lean it side to side to get that last little bit of water out of the bottom. Um, and you should never throw the hose right on the floor because a little bit of water may be in there and it'll be all over the floor. Um, but again, this is going to be the case with any of these kind of washing machines. Um, this one actually has a really good pump so most of it you don't have to have it um, higher. Like I can show an example here. Um, I'm going to put it on drain and hold this sturdy just so you can kind of get an idea. Right, come on now, it's going to make a liar out of me. Normally it drains just fine. Oh, there we go. Say it's because I had it turned off for a bit, but now if it drains quite good, um, I'm going to turn it back to normal so I'm not dealing with the draining right now. I'll put it in my bucket here so that I can do the spin because uh, I do want to show you how this works. So you just basically move it on over into here. Doesn't matter how much water's in it because it just drains right back in the same tank. Uh, and I haven't tried to spin two towels before, so I'm not sure how that's gonna we may get a little bit of unbalance, but if that happens, we'll take one out. And you close it up. Close this up, and then you take your poison. Oh, and look at it. It's draining. I was not expecting that to happen, but hopefully it doesn't overflow on me. Uh, but that, yeah, that's how much water is coming out. Alright. Did that stop because I did not want to have to stop it to lift up my bucket. <laughs> and that's not even on drain, so, um, so you want to be careful with that, I guess, is another thing. Um, you want to keep your, um, but, you know, if you notice it's not really shaking badly, it's And I put it on like three minutes, and already it's got most of the liquid. All that liquid came out of those towels. Okay, still got a little bit. Now I could also, you know, I still have some water in there. I could also put it on drain at the same time and um, where I had it off, I may have to turn it off and back on again for the, for the start doing the regular drain. There. 
toes. So there is the pump that drains. I mean, it's very often draining. Uh, there's not a whole lot left in there, but I don't. I want to be able to lift that bucket. So. All right, now at two minutes. Now, what I'll often do um, at this point, because I don't want my hose to go bonkers and leak everywhere, I'll stick it in there when I'm draining or spinning usually. But this is, I mean, it's, it's a sturdy plastic. Uh, it has a three prong plug, just like the regular um, grounded plug. You can plug it into your, your bathroom outlet. Um, again, the things that you're going to need when you buy this, you're going to need the adapter for your sink if you don't already have one. And you want to be about an inch, roughly three quarters of an inch to an inch. Um, I'd actually say about an inch. Um, you're going to want the lint trap. You are going to want the uh, delicate garment bag. Um, you may want to get some uh, like little um, agitator balls that you can put into the, the washing machine. Um, I also picked up um, this little thing that I hang up on my uh, shower curtain rod. Um, and I hang like socks and um, delicates. Recording. But here we have towels that are like hang them up for an hour, they're going to be dry. There's like they're really, really, really dried. Um, so, yeah. This is the Della Twin Tub Washing Machine, and it comes with the hoses, the spinning, um, disc, and uh, yeah, it, I would definitely get it again. It has been an absolute lifesaver for me. Uh, the clothes that I wash. Um, jeans may take a couple hours to dry hanging up just inside um, but like t-shirts you know other things like that most of it you can it'll be dry in like an hour or so um, hung up um, I would also suggest getting some kind of if you don't have like a clothesline or whatever get some kind of rack that you can um, can hang them on um, yeah but Definitely worth the money. Um, I love it. Um, as you heard, it's not super loud, and it, it works quite well. I mean, it gets things clean. And, um, yeah, if you have a camper, if you have, like, a, a even, like, a camp that has electricity, if you have a, a kid that you're sending off to college or the first apartment and you either don't want them coming home to do their laundry all the time or you don't want to dish out quarters for the laundromat um, you know go ahead and give this a try it can um, you're not going to be able to fit like any great big like comforters and really heavy big big things um, I think you could probably do do sheets 
um, maybe some thin, a thin blanket, maybe if it's not too big. Um, but yeah, uh, be really good for hand wash stuff too because you have the soft cycle. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I'm very happy with my purchase. Um, again, I purchased this because I was looking for a twin tub washing machine. Uh, I liked the price and I just went ahead and, and ordered it. And, um, you know, I, I do um, sometimes do product reviews um, where I get the item at a discount or um, or it's sent to me for free in order to do a review and that is not the case with this particular um, item. Uh, I'm going to put this review, although I purchased it with my personal, um, with one account, um, I have a couple different Amazon accounts. I purchased it with one. I'm going to put the review on the other. Um, but again, you know, you do see that I have it. I did purchase it. And, yeah. If you're looking for a twin tub washing machine that, uh, that works well and that is a reasonable price and that you can get free shipping and shipped right away, then uh, try the Della. All right. Thanks for watching and goodbye.